behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. A man's car is stolen, then found, but police never call to tell him about, about it, and fees begin to rack up at the tow yard. The story started with a viewer tip, and while he ultimately decided not to go on camera, the Morning Insiders made an interesting discovery researching the dilemma. Here's Lauren Victory. You're watching surveillance video of many people's worst nightmares. A delivery driver drops off groceries on 14th and Michigan. Minutes later, strangers hop into his car. He'd left it unlocked, keys in the ignition. Dumb, he knows, but he also thought what happened next was stupid. Weeks later, he's informed his car is here, a tow lot in Cicero, and it's been here for several days. With storage fees, that adds up to $685, sir. Why didn't you come sooner? Blame snail mail. He only knew his car was found because of a letter from the Secretary of State Police. It's dated June 18th, but says they found the car on June 11th. Why didn't they call? Illinois State Police told us their protocol. Troopers suspicious a car is stolen enter its info into a database called LEADS, the Law Enforcement Agency's data system. Once confirmed stolen, the department with the original case is notified and will contact the vehicle's owner about the recovery. In this case, Chicago police took the initial report, but apparently never followed up. CBS2 wondered how often that happens, and now we know. Open records show 12,281 vehicles were covered by CPD in the past two and a half years. Only 1,516 owners were contacted. That's only 12%. Chicago police have an answer for this, written in their vehicle theft and wanted vehicles procedures policy. Filing a stolen car report? You need to tell officers that you want to be notified if they find your car. Now you know. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. CPD could not tell us if the viewer signed the contract form. Now, a per spokesperson for the Secretary of State said the letter to inform the viewer of his car's whereabouts was a courtesy.